communities. We realize that in small communities, often it seems that everyone knows each other. And so what that means in terms of elder abuse or in, in terms of family violence is that there may be existing relationships between law enforcement, service providers, the abuser, and the victim. And so it becomes difficult for the victim to reach out and talk to someone about what's going on when, they are, when there are those issues and those relationships that may have been going on for years. And um, specifically in some, of these, in some of these communities where the idea of everyone knowing the family business is frowned upon. And so it's a private matter and, and you're discouraged from, from doing that. And the emphasis is on um, families taking care of themselves. And so it's hard for um, someone experiencing elder abuse to step out of that closed uh, family uh, system and, and ask for assistance. The other thing that we found in, in some of our focus groups is that the support systems don't really have an understanding of what elder abuse is and, and don't really understand family violence as a whole and so aren't able to offer the support and the resources that they may on other issues. And so um, in, in communities that might have um, a, a resource desert, if you will, communities that the, the domestic violence uh, service provider or that folks who are responding to elder abuse could be an hour, hour and a half, two hour drive away to get services, it makes it very difficult. Just as uh, it's difficult for law enforcement sometimes in those rural communities to respond quickly to a call because of the size of the geographical region and the small number of law enforcement. And so that makes that trust issue very difficult when you know a, a 911 call could take an hour's response um, from folks best uh, best opportunity to respond quickly. Isolation is a huge part of it. I think isolation for older victims is always um, uh, an increased uh, barrier for them in, in getting help and healing uh, from the abuse, but in rural areas that can be even more intensified just because of the distances between people, et cetera. Um, I think there's a lack of resources in rural areas for people who want to get help, a lack of affordable housing, that sort of thing. Um, there's a lack of jobs that pay a livable wage. Um, often people who work in rural areas travel long distances to jobs that pay better, and uh, that may not be an option for uh, somebody who is older or not a comfortable option. Um, <clears throat> I think um, Transportation can be a huge issue in rural areas. Um, many rural areas don't have any kind of public transportation, no cabs, no buses, or anything requiring people to drive cars. And so that can become a barrier as we get older. You know, driving may not be an option. We can't drive at night. Uh, so finding transportation and dealing with some of those issues can be uh, very challenging for uh, older victims.